Systems has been manufacturing isolation transformers since 1984. But the reason I wouldn't sell them to you in the POS industry is because we're not sure where you're going to put them. If you plug an isolation transformer into a GFCI receptacle, and those are those receptacles with a little red button in the middle you normally see in wet areas, meaning the bar area or any service area where you're uh, mixing Cokes and, and ice machines and so on, uh, or the bathroom, anywhere there's water. It's supposed to, if it recognizes any con inconsistencies in the power uh, coming in and out of it, that it will remove the power. That's the way it's supposed to react. But if you plug an isolation transformer into it, it disables that safety feature. At that point, who's liable? Is it us? Is it the dealer? Uh, is it the end user for, for allowing it to be plugged into it? So what we're going to do is test. I have a portable GFCI uh, receptacle. I'm going to plug my first isolation transformer into it. And I have a test, a GFCI tester in the back of it. It's passing power right now, but if I click this button, it should go out and remove the power. It will not remove the power. That's my first one. Now, let's try another competitor, which is simply another isolation transformer. It's just an older technology. I plug this in. I have another tester in the back of this one. When I select the button, the light should go out and remove the power. It does not remove the power. But, and again, it's not to slight the other isolation transformers because ours will do the identical thing. So now let's plug our POS Guardian in. I can plug a bulb into one. I plug the tester into the other one. Now when I select the button, it removes the power. That's what is supposed to happen. 